So today I'll be doing a video discussing Hisoka's death and why Hisoka will be dead by the end of Hunter x Hunter if we even get to see the end of Hunter x Hunter. Now we know that Hisoka, his character is surrounded by the theme of death because he has killed many characters throughout the Hunter x Hunter series. We saw it started as early as the Hunter exams. We saw that's when Hisoka became a real threat but it didn't stop there because ever since then Hisoka, his main motive has been about fighting. We've seen that he's gotten into beefs with the phantom troop which is arguably the biggest group of killers in the whole hunter x hunter series we see even the other groups of assassins in the hunter x hunter manga they idolize the phantom troop so yeah the fact that he's beefing with them goes to show you that he doesn't really care and he was a former member of the phantom troop and on top of that we know Hosoka, he wants smoke with all of the top tier hunters slash the Zodiacs because we saw Hosoka, he made his ranking list for who are the strongest hunters in his eyes and all those people on those lists, he wants to fight. And I definitely do think that will be a lead to his downfall and Hosoka lives to fight the strongest. We know that's the, literally the only reason why he's alive. So I do believe that he will run into somebody who is way too strong for him to handle. And that already happened once because we saw with the battle of Krolo, he actually did kill him. Yes, Hosoka was killed by Krolo in Heaven's Arena, but we do know that Hosoka, he was brought back to life by his Nen conditions, similar to how P2 did it. But this just goes to show you that Hosoka, he is not unstoppable because when Hosoka did actually give a ranking of all the hunters, he had himself at the top. And that led a lot of people to think, is Hosoka the number one hunter? But after what we saw between his battle between Krolo and Hisoka, and don't get me wrong, it was a very high difficult battle. Krolo had to set up traps beforehand and all that stuff, but it just goes to show you that Hisoka, he is not untouchable, and here are the people who I believe will have a strong chance at being able to kill him. Coming in at number one is Jing, and it's simple. Jing is Gon's father. We know that he's going to want to protect Gon, and obviously, Hisoka, his main prize is Gon. But on top of that, we know that Jing is a Zodiac member. So right there, that was already going to lead to Hisoka wanting to fight Jing. The fact that he is a Zodiac member, he's known as a top five Nen user in the world by Netro uh, himself. So that just goes to show you that Hisoka, he's had his eyes on Jing and Gon for a very long time. But I I do think that if he did try to start something with Jing, Jing would tear him a new one because we've seen the stuff that Jing can do. In fact, we haven't even seen his full power, but we still do know that Jing, if he did fight Hisoka, I definitely do think he could beat him easy to mid difficulty. And the next character I have to discuss is Beyond Netro, and this one is a big one because we know that Hisoka, he's wanted to fight Netro ever since the Hunter exams. Yes, Hisoka wanted to smoke with the chairman since the Hunter exams, and now that there's nobody else besides Beyond Netro who can fill Netro's spot, what if Netro's son does fight Hisoka to show him the difference in power between a high class hunter and, you know, just some lonely going around here trying to kill someone thug? And I definitely do think this could happen because because they are all on their way to the dark continent. Hisoka, he is hiding in the ship somewhere. We don't know where he's at. The all Netro is on the ship too. And if everybody sees the commotion that Hisoka is starting on this trip towards the dark continent, beyond Netro, he's been basically living his whole life up to this point. I definitely do think that he will put an end to all this drama. And the main person who's starting that drama is Hisoka. So if you push beyond Netro, if you push his buttons hard enough, I definitely do think that he would snap and and I definitely do think he'll be able to beat Hisoka simply because he's supposed to be Netro 2.0. And I have to discuss Gon Freaks just because we already know that the Gon versus Ahsoka battle is going to happen in the end. But we know that Gon, he may kill Ahsoka for being evil because we know that Gon, unlike a lot of other Shonen main characters, he is not against killing. We saw what he did to P2 and we know that Gon, if he gets taken to that point, he will do it again. But at the same time, he may not kill Ahsoka because of the person who he is. While we know Gon, he is uh, somebody who's not afraid to kill at the same time if he sees that somebody is good enough which gone he's able to see the good in anybody he will spare them and he may end up letting kasoka live which is why i believe gone he does have the lowest chance to end up killing kasoka out of anybody on this list 
coming in at number four is Illumi. And yes, yes, yes. This is somebody who I think has a high chance of actually being able to kill Hosoka plot-wise and strength-wise. Because we know that this is Hosoka's closest friend and this is his number one rival. If you think about it, these two are kind of like Gon and Killua, but adult version. They're always hanging out. And we know that Hosoka, he wants to fight Illumi. But obviously, he knows how important Illumi is to him right now. Illumi, he has a lot of information on everything. Whether it be the Phantom Troops, Zodiacs, Illumi is just plugged in and Hasoka knows he can't lose that information source but we saw a little glimpse of Hasoka teasing Illumi when he told him that he was going to kill Killua and then Illumi threatened to kill him right then and there but the good thing is that Hasoka he was not shook at all he was literally laughing in his face and all that stuff so I definitely do think that if these two do fight somebody has to end up dying but if these two do fight I'm not saying that Illumi will win 100% no 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 because I think these two are equal in terms of power so if Illumi and Hasoka fight I think that one of them would end up dying for sure but Hasoka he would definitely have a high chance of dying or both of them could end up going out and last but not least the person who I believe that will actually kill Hasoka is Machi yes I do believe that Machi she will be the one to kill Hasoka because we know that she hates 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 Hasoka, especially after what he did to the phantom troop he used them he killed their members and he basically just said all right i'm done i'm leaving and machi we know that she knows basically a lot of Hasoka's secrets she's the one that's been repairing him ever since he joined and even after Hasoka came back from death he told machi about his whole you know experiment so that just goes to show you that machi she has the drive she has the motive and she has all the knowledge as far as if she has the skill to defeat him i I don't know about that that's why i think it'll probably have to come later on in the series once she gets stronger but i definitely do think that machi out of everybody on this list she has the highest chance at being the person who kills hasoka comment what you guys see down below subscribe if you haven't peace out